Um, what's going on guys, your boy X2. Um, it's been like a week since I uploaded a video, so it hasn't been that long, so we're good. Um, look what I picked up for 120 bucks. Well, the amp and the sub was under 3 bucks, but look. This is new, so here. A Kenwood 1800 um, watt amp. Yeah, I got the amp and the sub for 120 bucks, and then um, all this wiring, the fuse, the RCA cables. Um, yeah, the fuse RCA cables, I got that for 40 bucks off Amazon. Line output converter. Because I'm gonna run a stock, a stock radio. And it has the 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 base controller on it. It's actually pretty dope. I just gotta wire that in. This was 30 bucks, 21 dollars for a interior trim removal kit. Comes with everything, and I pretty much started taking the interior apart. So I'm gonna show you guys that in a bit. Here I have all the tools I used yesterday. Oh, I bought the scotch. I guess that's how you say it. But the kit comes with. With this, which I've never had, but I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna bring this, this tester. I was gonna buy a voltmeter, but I'm glad it brings that. Let's pop the hood. Gotta disconnect the negative, I think. I gotta watch a video. And then I took apart the interior. Well, the head unit, anyways. So I popped this out. But uh, for the most part, it seems pretty simple. I mean, gotta pop the radio out, which is kind of difficult. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but whatever. We'll figure it out. So I found a spot where I'm gonna. Put my wire through. It's not about it over there in the passenger side. But fuck it. There's an easy spot right there. For for where the clutch would be. You can focus right there. That there's a carpet behind it, but I might just drill through that and through the carpet, and just put the the cable through there. Plus, it's right beside the battery, so it'll be quick and easy, you know. All right, we're back. Um, I was trying to. I got confused a bit because. Let me show you. Not a space, but. There's this one, it has a bunch of wires, and there's this one. I didn't know which one I had to tap into, but I watched a video on YouTube. I'll probably link his channel, maybe. And you gotta connect to this one. But I wanted to try to get some food and watch a video, because I feel like I'm about to pass out. So I got some crackers. Chilling right there, and we're gonna continue. Oh, this painstaking process. My shoulder hurts. But I got most of the wires that, well, I'm gonna say most, all the wires that I needed, um, stripped i'm gonna wire it in the line output converter so i'm gonna wire this in right now i'm gonna pass the rca cables through the bottom of there and the um remote line or remote cable and just leave it on the floor right there just just so it's there but for the most part the wiring diagrams i've seen um seem to be correct i don't like this Oh, open this up. Oh, no. Work. Work, man. Jeez. So much fucking work. That's it. Yo, you're gonna have to black out your plates in the video. Yeah, well, I, I never do it anyways. I don't care. That's dangerous, bro. So I'ma get more, yeah I'ma get more. Let's go the door, the shit on your nose. She said she want more, she said she want more. Then just so there's no interference, I ran the other cables, the RCA cable and the oh look at that candy. I ran the RCA cable and the the power signal cable through the other side, the passenger side. That way there's no interference, but. There's my ground, pretty much just took the bolt out of the the seat holders back here, put the ground on there and screwed it back in and it seems to be doing well. The RCA cables, power cables, everything's back there in case I wanna I wanna re relocate it up here because but I wanna make a wood board with the twelve inch subwoofer somewhere up here and then the amp up here too, just so there's nothing down here just so it's clear. Which means I gotta get rid of this box, which I don't really mind because it's not even vented, so vented will be even better. There's, you can kind of see it. They're kind of tucked, kind of not. I tucked it over here just on the one steps on and rips them out. The RCA cable and the power cable. And then, as you can see, my head unit is completely back in. One thing I did have a problem with, I'm going to inform you guys right now in case you are one, do, do want to do this. I'm going to keep the head, rate, uh, stock head unit. The line output converter, I fucked up. I wired it in. I did this all in one day, by the way. So it's relatively quick. 
I wired it um I wired it in. I didn't cut the cables, I just took the the installation out, wrapped the the line output converter in, and then I taped it up, but then I thought I was kinda hack. But I said fuck it if it works. I tried to put the radio in and I realized that the cables were too short. And I couldn't tuck it anywhere because the radio wouldn't go in. So I had to take everything off. I had to extend the the wires for the um, line output converter, and then had to push the radio back in. Then once I did that, as I was doing that, one of the cables pretty much came undone, and I had to. I was trying it and it wasn't working. And keep in mind, I put all this together, and then it wasn't working. So then I took everything out again, then rewired it again, then put everything back in. I didn't put everything. I tested it, pushed everything back in, then I tested it again. And it was working, and I put everything back together, and it was perfectly fine. So. The radio's back here, and the light output converter, I extended the cables, so it's right under here, under this vent. That's where the line output converter is, so. And it's, I'm gonna show you guys how it sounds right now, actually. And keep in mind that the, you know, keep in mind that the, what is it? Well, the, what I did, for, because it helps me, it's better for me. I don't have to keep on going here. The base is turned all the way up here but the base on the radio where is it uh sound the base on my radio is turned all the way down so in case i want to control base i just do it through here and it's way better plus the base on the song goes up equally that's, that's low bass i'm gonna turn the bass up now So, it's not bad. It's definitely a, a DIY job. You don't gotta pay for this. It's kind of hectic if you don't know what you're doing. But once you watch a video or two videos, kind of get the gist of it and how to do it. But all in all, it cost me maybe around. Let me do the math. That's right. $210. For basically a subwoofer and amp and that's pretty cheap if you ask me i don't know what i'm gonna do to my wheels yet i don't know if i'm gonna plastic dip them or paint them i may plastic dip them i haven't, I haven't gotten to it yet because i don't know what i'm gonna do it what i'm gonna do to them so i might plastic dip them just because i don't i don't want to be i want to be committed to black in case i don't like it so i'm gonna plastic dip them black and if i like it maybe in the future i'll paint them but i want to keep it black for now just because black and blue you know that's a whole color combo and I did order a set of xenon um, xenon lights kit, so it's high beams, uh, low beams, which is like daytime runners, I guess, and side markers. So that'll be lit. I can't wait to install those. Hopefully, it looks nice. After that, I might go to LEDs if they burn out or whatever. I'm I'm doing a lot of talking. I'm sorry, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys.